Okay, today is the day. We are on our way. Oh, check out the Bronco. Nice Bronco. Okay, we are on our way to pick up the RC car we've been waiting forever to get. Gotta take off. It's gonna take about an hour to get there. a couple hours to go get this thing but we went and got some dinner after we picked it up 
made our way back up the canyon. And like I said, uh, local hobby shop to me is an hour or more away from where I actually live for my work. The place I picked this up was about 45 minutes, um, but all the way home, we're looking at about roughly an hour and a half. It's definitely worth was worth the trip. I want to thank uh, Powerhouse Motorsports for ordering this in on a pre-order for me. Nobody else wanted to do it, and I waited so long to uh, get a pre-order in. I was afraid to do it on online because there has been times in the past when not enough cars come in and you order online you get stuck on the back order list so if they can't fulfill your order you just sit and wait until the next shipment comes in so i decided to go locally because the, the hobby shops have first priority to get some um usually the way it works with the distributor so that's the reason i went this route and this will be the first time i've bought a car from a uh, brick and mortar hobby shop this was kind of a hobby shop slash, slash ATV, e-bike type of atmosphere. So it wasn't full-blown hobby type of, I guess, RC car or radio control type of a hobby shop. But they was able to um, order it in for me. And I do appreciate that they uh, got it right away. It was in a few days ago, but you know, get too busy at work, can't get out of there to drive that far. So you had, I had to wait. And a lot of people have already done unboxings on this, and so I'm going to do a quick unboxing and just kind of give my first impressions. But if you want to get a highly detailed outside of the box one, I'm not going to do that this time. I've done plenty of those in the past. I think this truck is probably going to be way overdone. So we're just going to open her up and take a look at what's inside. I ended up getting the dark blue one. The box, I will say, first impression automatically noticed that the box was not as big as maybe my brain thought it would be which is an indication that it is a 4s where a lot of people are comparing it to almost being the size of a 6s blah 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 well the box just kind of give it away which is exactly what i want i want a smaller one i have two 6s truggies and i want a smaller one i have a skeeter and I really like the size of that one. Um, this is what it comes like out of the box. Ooh, I like that blue much, much better in person than the picture show. Show some of that back. Paint looks good. I and mean, it does, it is a good looking size. It's very wide. Um, looking truck we all know what's in here we'll kind of look in that real quick in a second we want to get this thing out and uh, take a look at it on the table all right there we have the new Creighton 4s it's definitely it's a big truck but it's about about right I like the tire size Tires look good. Um, it's just a little bit smaller than the 6S, but pretty much an identical uh, visual looking on the outside. Front bumper's kind of the same, similar design. We all know the underside is different, but body shape. I do like this blue. It's a lot brighter and stuff that it looks like on the box. I mean, at least in my eyes, that's what it looks like. I have two 6S Truggies, and the problem with them is the size is a little bit hard to run everywhere. Um, but this is, I mean, I've been waiting a long time. So, story of the re this was supposed to be my first Arma, but that, that was the original plan. Because when I heard about this truck being re-released, I like the size. The size works for my yard. I don't film much in my backyard because it's small. But the 6S trucks are too fast for my backyard. They're no fun back there. You can't really do anything with them. And even on 4S, they're still pretty fast. Now, I imagine this is going to be fast, but it's just a slightly smaller scale. And I can run it in the backyard. I run my Skeeter back there. I run my MT-8 on 4S in the backyard. 
and it's just a little bit more manageable than the big huge wide trucks um, 10 scales more um, for the size so this is a, a good looking size I like the size of the tires they're pretty awesome I actually can't wait to try them on maybe some other trucks and see how they do um, they look like the same size as what I put on the scooter um, which was a low profile uh, Low profile proline trencher, so they look that looks pretty good size comparison wise. I seen a podcast done by Tony at CCXRC where he interviewed Jason, the founder of Arma, and they were talking about the different vehicles and they mentioned this truck. And this was, you know, a year, probably maybe a year and a half ago now or whatever. And I thought that these were going to come out in the summer last year. And so I waited and waited and waited. And then last year they released the uh, in Mega Infraction. I purchased one of those, modified it. That was my first one. My experience with that Arma wasn't the greatest. Um, it had some issues I wasn't very happy with. Mostly build quality type stuff and drivetrain issues. Um, then I bought the Creighton EXB. I like the EXB, but I don't run it a lot. I have not not even broke a part on it. That's how often I run it. It's a great truck, and I've taken it out quite a few times, but I mean, I don't use it a lot. I mean, it's been bashed, I would say, probably mildly, um, my EXP. So it's still a, in great shape. Um, and I'm hoping to get that out this weekend also with this one and do a comparison. And then just this week, um, being August of uh, 2022, um, Arma came out with the V2 of the Limitless, and I thought, well, that'll be cool. That probably won't hit the stores for a while. So I so I pre-ordered that. Um, well, the Limitless and the Creighton 4S's must have came on the same boat because I got both of them in the same week, and so um, now I'm up to three Armas, and I only have one that I've even driven yet. Don't get driven. Um, so that's kind of the backstory on this. This was supposed to be my first Arma. Got impatient, didn't like waiting anymore. Bought a few others, and now I'm, I went back and forth in my brain. It was I had a hard time deciding the reason I didn't pre-order it sooner. Do I want an Outcast? Do I want the Crate? Do I want an Outcast? I just wanted, so I decided to wait for some videos. Um, I seen uh, Jason Perrin's video. He does more bashing to the style of what I do. You know, he's not. Um, Rich Duper Bash and Talbot and the guys that send them to kill them. We're playing with them like a normal RCer, more or less, and pushing them a little bit to their limits because we all want to make better videos. So we try to push them a little bit more every time. And so we're trying to be within the realistic expectations of what an RC car should do. And uh, he was doing some pretty cool stuff with the Creighton, and I was like, you know, maybe that's more my speed. It's not as wild and backflippy. I wanted to do do backflips, and it will, but the Outcast looks like it's just wild, uh, crazy willy machine. Probably could be harder to control. So I decided to go with the handling part of it, and I may pick up an Outcast. Um, I think the Outcast looks pretty interesting. Anyway, we've seen this thing. We got 17 millimeter wheels, big humongous shocks. Let's pull the body off and see what's inside. I would say I am glad I went with the blue. I'm not sure I'm a first uh, teal fan. The last arm I had was a teal type body. The body's actually pretty beefy. I would say this body is significantly beefier than my. Uh, Creighton EXB. That thing is paper thin, the EXB body. It's uh, actually crazy thin. All right, so we're going to get up in here. We got adjustable upper turnbuckles um, for the top of the suspension, steering adjustments. Those are pretty nice. Uh, they are a black and steel. They're not this. Uh, chrome pop metal stuff that snaps so easy that's like on the mt8 so hopefully they'll hold up well arm is pretty good about that one it, it is the same very similar design as the 3s line you know we got a plastic chassis um the removable 
center drive shaft, which is kind of a nice feature. Um, should hold up pretty good in a 4S vehicle. Um, I like their battery straps, even though I have been seeing some people breaking them. Um, maybe the material is not as good as it was, but I like to where it's like hook and loop all in one. You don't have to have it in a specific position to get it to stick. Definitely like the double plug because at times, like right now, I only have one 4S battery, but I have a whole bunch of nice 2S batteries. That'll work good in this, and it looks like they should fit. No problem. So we can run them that way. We got the uh, 2400 kV motor with a fan on it. I like fans. I've been buying a lot of them lately. It's nice this one comes with a fan installed. Also, we got a fan on the ESC. And the speed control is, um, I think it said, that's it, that's it. The speed control is 120 amp 3 and 4S. So that's nice. Uh, should be pretty good. I'm not sure. Uh, servo is a 232-ounce servo. Obviously, that's probably going to get changed. I don't know if that's going to be adequate enough for this truck after you get going a little bit. We'll figure that out. Um, adjustable body post, which probably will never, ever need to adjust them. Why would you change the body? It is a good-looking body. Yeah, uh, I like the upgrade on the shocks. Instead of doing some kind of a plastic crappage like on the 3S line, even though they did improve the V3 V3S uh, line. It's just nice to see the aluminum bodies. Spacers are kind of a bummer. You know, even the Skeeter comes with threaded aluminum shocks. Very nice threaded. And they have aluminum caps and threads and all that stuff, but we're not really... You know, compare doing a complete comparison to that vehicle. Um, yeah, all in all, it's looking pretty good out of the box. Had a fun little trip down to the shop, see what they had, pick up some stuff, get a good look at this thing. Um, there's a lot more detailed videos out there. Um, I did want to put out something of a mild unboxing and just kind of show running into the hobby shop and picking one of these up. I am really excited to to run it. It's too late. It's too bad. It's too late at night and it's raining like crazy outside um, because I'm about ready to throw a pack in it and give it a try. Oh, let's take a look at the remote real quick. I forget what remote even comes oh, it's this thing so it comes with the SLT3 mm, yeah. this is the same remote I have in my Losi Nitro car or it came with it not a big fan of that radio I mean it's it's okay it'll it's okay gets the trick done So we got some shock spacers. You got to have this specific tool to adjust the slipper clutch. This end here, it's what slides in there and you can adjust it by pushing the car forward or backwards. You have to have that. You could probably do it with a pair of pliers, which probably damage stuff. Comes with a couple Allen keys. Um, pretty typical stuff. And you just got your manual, how to get started. It's pretty basic manual doesn't really go into complete detail on how to build the car it's mostly exploded views and safety precautions and you need to be certain age and have an adult so anyway guys that was a fun trip just to go down and pick it up i haven't bought like i said i haven't bought a, a car from a hobby shop since for i can't even remember everything i order is i order it online I have uh, HRPs kind of local here in Utah. I order from them some certain cars. I for order from OMG RC, A-Main, Tower Hobbies, Horizon Hobbies, everywhere. This will be the first time I've went to a store and bought a vehicle. Now I have went and bought parts. This will be the first time I went to a shop and actually spent money um, on 
somewhat of a local hobby shop. Um, and it was kind of a fun experience to do, to be like trying to beat the clock, get there on time. Um, there's lots of uh, fun things to do in this hobby. And sometimes the best thing isn't playing with the cars, the anticipation of getting something new. And, uh, yeah, excited to get this one. I think it's going to be a great vehicle. A lot of the reviews out there already look really good. Uh, of course, people are breaking them, but they break. That's what they do. Uh, being able to get off work a little bit early was nice. We've been working a ton of hours. A ton. And get off work a little early, go do that. Uh, spend some time with a girlfriend. Get some food. And then come home and do an unboxing. Take a look at the new RC car. So please, like, subscribe, and share. Um, comment on the video if you'd like. Let me know what you think about the new Creighton 4S and if, you know, if you've got one and your impressions of it. Um, this thing is hitting the dirt tomorrow. Immediately first thing battery I charge tomorrow. I'm taking this thing outside. Alright, thanks guys.